Hello friends. Happy Friday. I hope you can see me okay because there is so much glare from the sun. It is a hot, hot day today. And man, the sun is... is... I went to New Zealand once and you know New Zealand's having much more issues with sun because the hole in the ozone is affecting them more because of where they are in the world. And the sun today reminded me of the sun in New Zealand. It was just that that baking hot burning uh, feeling on, on my back uh, and it's been like that all day and apparently it's going to get hotter this weekend so always something to look forward to so let me get this going quiet things down for you a bit I gotta have the air conditioning on but I can't light without the I can't light with the air blowing so we'll do that first yeah you're you're actually right on top of an air conditioning vent so my apologies for the sound anyway it's a hot day let's go home get home where the air conditioning is of course we're hitting these record highs right at the time when my car air conditioning is starting to give up the ghost. I'm hoping it just needs a Freon top off, but the same thing happened to my wife's car a few weeks ago, well, maybe a month ago, and it turned out she needed a new compressor. I assume cars are like children, they take all your money and then the only difference is they don't support you in your old age. That wasn't kind. It's probably going to make some people mad at me. I'm sorry. So other than it being hot, uh, I picked this up at the cigar store. I also picked up, as we come to the red light here, this um, butane fluid, which will probably feature in an upcoming video. So it's something for you to look forward to. And I also stopped and got a six pack, a mixed six pack of uh, craft beers. And one of them was, uh, there, there's a, yeah, I hope I remember this right, Cigar City Brewing Company. I think it was Cigar City. And they had a Maduro, Maduro Brown Ale, I think it was. It was definitely Maduro, and I think the company was Cigar City. Unfortunately, it was only in cans. I don't know if they uh, only put out cans or if that's all that the store had. Uh, the cans are okay. I like getting these mixed six packs. I always get, um, I always get two of each thing that I'm going to try because I, I just think it's better to have two of them. And, you know, I've had things that I've liked and things that I've not liked. Um, but it's it's a neat experience to try them, even if you don't like them. And I've never had anything that I had to throw away. You know, I've, I've always been able to drink everything. Uh, of course, that's because I am very careful not to buy IPAs. Because, uh, as everyone knows, IPAs are terrible. Uh, no, I, I know a lot of folks like them. I, I just have never been able to get along with them. Uh, and from what I hear, I'm missing out. Well, I know I'm missing out on a lot because when I look through all the craft beers, that they're like 95% IPAs, and it's it sometimes is difficult for me to put together a mixed six pack, um, just because there's so few choices that are non IPAs. I'm just gonna rack it up to my uh, ridiculous palate that uh, won't allow me to enjoy any uh, aromatics because of the chemical flavoring. Uh, it's probably the same thing with the IPAs. I just, I just cannot get past the hops. They, they're just too strong to me. It's all I taste. And you know, I guess if you like that, that's fine, but I just don't like it. Uh, so yeah, that was my Friday post-work shopping spree. And I think I called my wife right before I uh, started this and 
I think we're going out to dinner tonight, which is going to be hot and unpleasant, but life goes on. I guess it's better than her having to cook in this heat. And I'm sure that there are places that are getting much hotter weather. I know I'm whining. And there are places that are getting much worse weather in other ways, I know. But it's just really hot. <laughs> it, according to my car, it's 96. I, I think the, um, you know, that, that what it feels like calculation where they take into account the humidity and all, it was like 117 today at, at one point. And, and this is all Fahrenheit. And it's apparently going to get hotter over the weekend. So we got we got a hard hard haul ahead. So good good time to stay indoors and get some work done on the shop, right? Well, I didn't talk about this, but last Thursday, well, I did talk about this. It was last Wednesday, I think. My sump pump scared me, and I, I wound up pulling the sump pump out of the sump to check in, and it actually was okay. It just was um, not pumping as quickly as I would like it to. But in the process of pulling it up, I, I screwed up my back. And Thursday and Friday, I was, you know, taking it easy and kind of tender and taking lots of ibuprofen and stuff. Uh, took it easy over the weekend because it was hurting. But actually on Monday it felt pretty good and got through Monday and Tuesday and I was thinking well this is the weekend I'm going to be able to uh, get that stuff done because what I have to do is I have to move a I don't know maybe about 10 half sheets of plywood and then I have to take down this large uh, shelf structure that was attached to the rafters and that'll clear out this wall and then I'll be able to paint the wall, you know, waterlock the wall, paint it, and start to build some benches against it. So that was the plan for this weekend. But then on Wednesday, I was foolish enough to wash my hands, and in the process of washing my hands, you know, anybody that has back trouble knows you sometimes just move the wrong way. It doesn't take a large movement, it doesn't have to be a you know, a, a sudden movement even, just just something goes slightly wrong. I was washing my hands and I just felt it seize up and man, it has been terrible since then. And guys, you know, I know there's guys out there that deal with chronic pain every day of their lives and I have a great deal of sympathy for you. I'm not trying to put myself in that category. Or I don't want to come off as a whiner with this, uh, but it, you know, you lose sight of just how fortunate you are until something like this happens. Hey. Well, at least I would have had that recorded. Um, you lose sight of how fortunate you are and then something like this happens and you go, wow, I used to be able to put my socks on without thinking and now I have to plan it in great detail and try not to yell while I'm doing it. You know, and, and, and something, it's it's funny in a, in a sense because I find myself in these situations that I never would have guessed. I Like, getting into the car is is, is just hilarious. You know, I, I can get my, my right leg into the car with no problem. I can sit down with no problem. Yeah, it hurts, but it's not like I'm screaming in pain or anything. But then I need to get my left leg in, and I just do not have any... So I've, I've got a lot of pain when I try to lift the left leg, and it just seems like I've lost strength in it. So I actually have to reach down with my hand and like lift up under my knee and slowly drag my left leg into the car, and then I can lean back, and, and then everything feels okay. You know, I'm in, in position, all is good. And then I go to close the car door, and I can't reach it. And I have to bend over to reach the car door, and it's just agony. And, you know, I must look like a complete, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I must look like trying to get in and out of this car. 
but it, you know, a few days ago, I would just jump in and go. It, it, you just don't think about these things. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's, it's, it's good to have the occasional experience like this just because you can be more sensitive to all the things that you have to be thankful for. Now, this is all assuming it's going to go away. It's gone away in the past. I'm a, I, I think it's a valid assumption, but we'll see. Usually it takes about five or six days for it to really start to be back to complete normal. So this happened on Wednesday. So it's only been you know, two, two and a half days. I actually think last night was sort of the, 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 the peak and now it's starting to get better. It's got to get worse before it gets better, unfortunately. But it, I, I think it's, it's something worth actually thinking about. And I wasn't thinking about this until I started talking. Um, but, you know, we, we, we have bad things happen to us all the time. And, of course, sometimes they're tragic. And that's a completely different category to what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the relatively minor inconveniences that we have to put up with. You know, maybe thinking about those in the context of, gee... The fact that this bothers me tells me how good my life really is. Well, it is beneficial. Yeah, I don't think many people got up this morning and said, man, I am so lucky to be able to put my socks on. I'm hoping that in three or four days I'm going to be saying that. <laughs> Anyway, guys, something to think about. Well, I hope wherever you are, you're keeping cool or dry or whatever Mother Nature is asking you to do. And I hope you're looking forward to a fantastic weekend. If you are in one of these hot regions, take it easy out there. You know, this is when people start falling over mowing their lawns and stuff. We don't we don't want any of that to happen. Drink lots of water. Take breaks. And if it doesn't need to be done outside, let it go. It's always another weekend. So with that folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off. Y'all take care and I'll talk to you soon.